again and it's Joey John McGuire taking a trip out today my new find, found mobility after my hip hop I am uh, visiting uh, a Weatherspoon spot uh, which I've started doing again after a two and a half year absence but I'm uh, back on the road to visiting Weatherspoon's pubs in London I have actually visited uh, 67 Weatherspoon pubs um, before I got ill over a four year period inside the M25 and there are some super ones believe me. Anyway, that's the advert for Weatherspoon's over other than the fact I'm in the Beehive uh, in Brixton. Just turn right when you come out the underground and I think it's about 150 yards. I'm about to recite my latest poem. It's called An Eager Fool, written as always in the early hours of this morning. An Eager Fool. My heart nudges me with rhythmic warnings. Meanwhile, recent shifts in my thought processes suggest something is amiss. The slowing down of movement, a frustration I could well do without, although it is far better than it was. Ill health has seen isolation, not just in recent times, my hip operation as success, I seek to reintroduce myself to the society that at times has rejected me though I am aware the rejection has in the past been very much a two-way thing. I am astounded by medical progress, how it has saved my life on numerous occasions and spared me the agonies of nagging pain. To its credit, I find myself alive again, for which I am humbled and truly grateful. Life is so precious. It's not a rehearsal, and there's only one bite on offer. My debilitating pain appears to have vanished, almost without a trace, as if it never existed. I'm on a sort of honeymoon, with a new lease of life beckoning, urging me on to greater things from not too distant a uh, horizon. Friends tug up my sleeve, bringing me back to earth from my Tracy Island moment. Try pausing for a minute. Slow down, they say. Let's net not get carried away. And they're right, of course, as there have been stirrings from other serious niggles that have lain dormant. They are coming to the surface, my extreme pain having been responsible somewhat for cloaking their existence. I would like to rejoice, leap up and down in the air, announce to the world that I have been cured, given the elixir of youth, but reality is a great leveller, and the truth is that lying will get me nowhere, especially to myself, and an early grave awaits the man who is an eager fool. There have been spasms, not so subtle heart warnings. My arthritis, well rooted, has been creeping unnoticed until now. It is firmly embedded throughout. The aid of facial neuralgia is back, dare I say, with a vengeance, and a little and a little surprise that has come to my notice as of late, my forgetfulness of names struggling to name the faces of people I feel I ought to know. I make excuses, but no one knows better than I that I am bluffing my way, perpetuating a growing lie to help placate the true reality of my current and inevitable situation. I am getting old. I am in touch with my own mortality more than ever before. My future, though not bleak, limited by time and my own feeble frailty. But it's not over yet. For me, a survivor, there is plenty of living to be done. The 
niggling pains are, like I said, sent to serve as a significant warning, advising me, and quite rightly so, to slow down, take good care of myself, or else. Quite a few distractions there. Someone's got a very bad cold. I suggest he sees a doctor. Sounded more real than I am. Anyway, Joey Joe Maguire well on the road to recovery. And uh, that was uh, one of the many poems about that recovery. And about the fight for survival. Joey Joe Maguire.